how to pressure test and vacuum slash charge a mini split. This is a cheap unit, so check out those factory flares. If you do redo them, use an orbital flaring tool. The straight ones are straight junk. Tighten up those connections. I used a standard torque wrench with a crow's foot attachment. It is in on to pressure testing. Most HVAC people use nitrogen. You know, I had an argon on hand just from welding. Try to avoid CO2 out here. There's a lot of moisture in there. Before the pressure test, remove the valve core. This is an R32 unit, so I'll be testing at 500 PSI. That can be done all on the high side of the manifold. Once I uh, release the pressure, I use some soapy water just to test for initial leaks. Then I let it sit for a few hours, make sure the actual system pressure doesn't drop at all. Once we were good there, it was time to hook up the vacuum pump. This is a cheap $100 unit off Amazon, so I let it run for about 40 minutes. I shut the valves off first on the low side of the manifold, then I turned off the pump. From there, it's just about releasing the refrigerant. They come pre-charged in the system. I start with the larger tube up here, and then move down the smaller. After that, power on your unit. It's been about six months, and for 500 bucks and $100 for the manifold slash vacuum kit, it's been a great buy so far. Well, time will tell how it holds up.